Today, I'd like to talk to you about a fake battery scam. Not a counterfeit scam, but a fake battery scam. This is a Sony 4K camera that I do most of my videos with, and it comes with a Sony battery. And I decided to get a larger battery as you do, to get longer shooting times and all that. So as you can see, it's double the size and this particular one here is a 4 200 milliamps uh, 4.2 amp battery so hopefully it was supposed to last twice as long but having it charged up and it took a little bit longer to charge than this one but not, not a great deal and then I was using it and I was thinking, okay, the recording times weren't double, were nowhere near it. And I thought, okay, that's that's not, not too great. So I thought, oh, yeah, okay, they've overemphasized the the milliamp rating. So it's put in the drawer and not used and used just used the power directly. And then uh, some sessions come along I thought oh yeah okay I'll get that longer battery the bigger battery out and try that and it wouldn't charge up you have to attach it to the camera charge in the power and the light comes on and you charge it in camera put it on and the light will flash and go off I said okay what's going on now so I checked the terminals zero volts oh, that's never good for a battery so I said okay I thought I might try replace it with lipos that you use in your quadcopters, that sort of thing. So I thought, oh yeah, here's the terminal. So I thought I'd just prise off the back and take the guts out and just use the terminal. But before I'll show you what's in there, what do you think is in there? What do you think a larger battery would have? Be all the cells there, electronics for it. But I'll just show you the, the scam. An easy way without pulling apart for you to check what if your battery is a scam battery. This is just a light. Just got a magnet on there. Now, let's just see what happens. Look at that. Now, is lead magnetic? Is lithium ion batteries magnetic? A lipo battery is magnetic. And as you can hear, it's a strong magnetic force. So, what is the least imaginable thing that you would expect to find in the battery? Have you guess? Write it down. Because just, you just prise off the, the edges and off come the plastic cover. And there was the electronics. So I thought, okay. I checked the terminals, no zero volts. I thought, okay. Now, I don't know whether the circuit stuffed up or not. So then I prised open the plastic bit. So I pulled out the, the battery. Now, what makes you think this is a scam battery? What do you think would stand out so as you know? It's not a counterfeit battery. It doesn't claim to be a Sony. It just claims to be a high capacity battery. Well, you think, okay, there should be a large number of cells along here. Here we go. Look at that. There's the end of the cells. So they might put one more cell in there. And here's the length of the case. But what do you think is underneath my hand? 
Let's see if your guess was right. It's silver, and it's hexagonal, and it's got a thread in it. Commonly referred to as a nut. They have glued a nut to the end of the battery pack. Why? When I discovered this, even though it was one year old, I went back to eBay, contacted the seller, and I said, this is a scam, you're a rip-off merchant, you're robbing people. No, no, no. So they went back to the manufacturer, and the manufacturer told the seller, because we can't really blame the sellers. It comes in like that, you've never pulled your battery apart, you never know that they've got a big bolt, a big nut in there. And he contacted the the manufacturer or his supplier, because they're only guys who've got a little shop at the end of their house, you know, they're not your high street retailers. And he said what they did is they went for a different battery. Instead of round, long ones, they used this new type, which would be the same as that in there anyway, because it's a rectangular, not a curved shape, so you, you know that's crap. So they then said, oh... We've got this plastic container and we've got this empty space behind. <laughs> they said they put that battery in there to fill up the empty space. <laughs> Normally you, you try to make cameras lighter. Everyone's getting lighter and lighter. So why would you put a big heavy nut into a plastic container, why wouldn't you just get another plastic container made up that big? Why? Because it needs that many cells in there to be for that capacity. So they're robbing you short there. The other thing too is that having that less cells, it's the weight. That extra cells would weigh so much and this would need to be the same. So the scam is less cells replaced with a nut so as it feels the same on the outside. So, get your magnet. There it is. See it dropping away? Nothing. So to check, if you've got a, if you're a victim of the fake battery scam, put a magnet on the end, and that will tell you. So, spread this word around, use the hashtag fake battery scam and let other people know. And when you buy a battery, check it and if it's a scam, send it back and get your money because you've been robbed. And as always, thanks for watching.